हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड कॉन्सेप्चुअल प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल्स राइट एंड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंटीग्रल विच इन्वॉल्व द फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट फंक्शन राइट सो लेट एस स्टार्ट नाउ हियर वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस इंटीग्रल सो लेट एस फर्स्ट कॉल दिस इंटीग्रल एज आई right and here uh, we see that uh, this is the integral from 0 to 1 x and the curly brackets denotes the fractional part function right so here we have the fractional part of x and e raised to fractional part of x right uh, viewers uh, this is also a very important uh, elementary and conceptual problem from uh, definite integrals of fractional part function now before solving this uh, uh, integral uh, let us uh, first take a quick look at the definition of uh, fractional part function right uh, we know that the fractional part of x is defined as x minus uh, greatest integer of x right so this is the definition of uh, uh, fractional part of uh, x and uh, uh, we also know that uh, the domain of uh, uh, fractional part function of x uh, is the set of real numbers right and the range of uh, uh, fractional part function uh, of x uh, it lies between uh, 0 and 1 right we can also write it as x greater than or equal to 0 but less than uh, 1 right so this is the uh, r is the domain of fractional part function x and uh, uh, the range is uh, this interval right and moreover the period of uh, fractional part function is 1 right so the period is 1 uh, okay so uh, once we have uh, discussed the definition of fractional part function uh, let us come to the problem right so here the limits of integration are from 0 to 1 the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is 1 right so now uh, what we will do uh, will uh, substitute uh, this value that is x minus greatest integer of x over here right so now i can be written as integral from 0 to 1 and here uh, we have x and here we have the a fractional part function of x so we can write x minus uh, greatest integer x and here we have the uh, exponential function so we have e raised to uh, x minus uh, greatest integer x right okay so now at this step uh, we have to uh, make use of the concept of uh, greatest integer function right so we know that uh, see here the limits of integration are from 0 to 1 and uh, from the definition of uh, greatest integer uh, function we know that when x lies between 0 and 1 right see here the uh, uh, limits of integration are from 0 to 1 so uh, we have to uh, decide the value of uh, Uh, these two terms right it means the value of this greatest integer x in this interval from 0 to 1 so when x lies between 0 to 1 then the value of greatest integer x is equal to 0 right because see if we have here 0 and here we have 1 uh, let's take uh, some uh, particular value say 0.4 then obviously the uh, value of greatest integer uh, 4 uh, 0.4 is obviously equal to 0 right so now this integral reduces to 0 to 1 here we have x then we have x minus uh, 0 uh, for greatest integer x we have 0 and e raised to x minus 0 right so now uh, we have 0 to 1 here we have x then we have x and e raised to x dx and this is uh, 0 to 1 x square 
e raised to x dx right so now our original integral it reduces to uh, this integral so now viewers uh, we have to evaluate uh, uh, this uh, uh, integral and uh, uh, in order to evaluate the definite integral from 0 to 1 x square e raised to x dx and uh, let us find out the uh, indefinite integral of uh, x square e raised to x dx right and once we uh, find out the indefinite integral of uh, x square e raised to x uh, we can make use of the limits and uh, we can find out the desired uh, value right so now uh, let us uh, uh, find out uh, this integral but uh, before finding out this integral uh, let us find out uh, the integral of x e raised to x dx right because this integral uh, uh, would be used uh, to find out the integral of x square e raised to x dx right so let us call this integral as i1 and uh, let us take this integral as i2 right so uh, uh, before finding out the uh, integral x square e raised to x let us first find x e raised to x right so here we see that uh, uh, this is the product of the integrand is a product of two functions right so this is the uh, algebraic uh, function or the polynomial function and this is the exponential function right so here uh, we are going to use the uh, method of parts that is integration uh, by parts right integration by parts so uh, we are going to use the result that is uh, if u and v are two functions of x and if we consider u as the first function and v as the second function then the integral of the product of u and v is uh, u times integral of v and then we have integral of the derivative of u and integral of, of v uh, d, uh, v dx and here we have dx right so here uh, we'll take x as the first function that is u is equal to x and v is equal to e raised to x right so let us uh, uh, find out uh, i2 so i2 is now uh, x integral of e raised to x dx then we have uh, integral of uh, uh, d by dx of x then integral of e raised to x dx right so now uh, we have x integral of e raised to x is e raised to x minus uh, here the derivative of x with respect to x is 1 and integral of e raised to x is e raised to x dx right and uh, this is x e raised to x minus integral of e raised to x dx and this is x e raised to x minus e raised to x right so the value of i2 is x e raised to x minus e raised to x right so uh, but we have to find the value of x square e raised to x so now uh, let us consider uh, i1 right so i1 is uh, integral of x square e raised to x dx again this is the algebraic uh, function or the polynomial function this is the exponential function so we'll apply again the method of parts we'll use this uh, formula so uh, this uh, x square uh, would be taken as the first function and e raised to x as the second function right so now applying this rule to uh, these two functions uh, we have x square integral of e raised to x dx minus integral of the derivative of x square then we have integral of e raised to x dx and here we have dx right so now we can simplify it this is x square and integral of e raised to x is e raised to x minus and here we have integral 
the derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x and integral of e raised to x is e raised to x dx right and uh, we can write it x square e raised to x minus and now we can take this two outside and now uh, see uh, we are left with the integral of x e raised to x dx right so viewers uh, uh, this is uh, how uh, we have uh, evaluated uh, first this integral that is integral of x e raised to x dx right so now we can uh, substitute uh, this value right so now i1 is x square e raised to x minus 2 times of i1 right uh, sorry here we have i2 and i2 is uh, we have minus 2 and i2 is x e raised to x minus e raised to x so this can be simplified we have x square e raised to x minus 2x e raised to x and minus minus plus so we have 2 times e raised to x right so viewers uh, uh, let us uh, quickly revise what we have done so far uh, we arrived at this step that is 0 to 1 x square e raised to x dx we have to find the indefinite integral i1 but before i1 uh, we have calculated i2 we got this uh, value of i2 then we took i1 and we applied the method of parts and then we get uh, here uh, i1 uh, i2 right so we have uh, substituted the value of i2 over here and we get uh, this value of uh, i1 right and now uh, here uh, we can uh, substitute the limits and we will take the difference so now uh, i is integral from 0 to 1 x square e raised to x dx right and viewers uh, the value of uh, integral of x square e raised to x is this so we have uh, uh, i1 and the limits of integration are from 0 to 1 and i1 is x square e raised to x minus 2x e raised to x plus 2 e raised to x and the limits of integration are from uh, 0 to uh, 1 right and now uh, we can uh, substitute x is equal to 1 here so we have 1 square is 1 and e raised to 1 is e minus 2 times 1 is 2 then e raised to 1 uh, that is simply e and uh, here we have e raised to 1 that is uh, simply 2e and minus then we'll take x is equal to 0 so this term is 0 this term is 0 and uh, then we have 2 times e raised to 0 right so now this is e and uh, minus 2e plus 2e these two get cancelled and uh, uh, we have here uh, e raised to 0 is 1 so we have minus 2 right so viewers the value of uh, uh, this uh, definite integral is e minus 2 right so this is how uh, we solve this uh, definite integral